don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. I always been a winner. I always been on the grind. Like money on my mind. Gotta keep it. Gotta hustle over time. All the time. You taught me a lot. Good. For real. You, you really did, man. Um, you taught me tracking. Some tracking stuff, man. And, uh, Things not to eat when you're in the wilderness, man. I live in the desert and I like to take hikes and stuff like that, man. And uh, you've opened my eyes to stuff I should be paying attention to when I'm walking. <laughs> so I really appreciate it, man. Uh, what all got you started in this industry, man? In the survival industry? In the survival industry. Well, I've always been interested in doing more with less. And I started my Aboriginal Living Skills School in Prescott, Arizona. Okay. And here we are outside of Phoenix. Heck yeah. In 1991. What? And so what I do is I teach modern survival skills, what happens if a jeep breaks down, primitive living skills, which might be making fire with sticks, etc., and urban preparedness with or without zombies, with the toilet wow. doesn't work, etc., etc., etc. That is cool. That is cool. All right, all right. And how did you, uh, where, when did you see, when when in life did you, were you like, this is going to actually be something, man. This is this is something that a lot of people are interested in, too, and I want to make this into a career. Well, I've always been interested in survival skills, but as you know, to actually try to make that as a business, mm -hmm. meaning you're not eating at Taco Bell, but you're, yep. meaning you're making a living. Yes. I just finished my 31st year, so it's been a long, long, long... Remember this thing that before cell phones, before YouTube, and before yep. Facebook? That's when it was even more challenging to make a living. So I've been at this a long time. I've been in Arizona the whole time. Sweet. And our state has any, everything from beautiful snow-covered mountains to all four North American deserts. Wow. So there's a lot of places to recreate, thus a lot of places to die in our state. That is so true. And that's one of the things I kind of like about your content, man. You're you're just uh, blatantly raw with it. You know, this is God honest truth, man. You know, you just kind of be like, well, yep, that's going to kill you, man. <laughs> and I... I, I I like that, man. That's kind of what draw me into you, because that always got me in trouble when I was in high school, man. Just being just being blunt with everything. I feel yeah. <laughs> like you gotta you can't say it like that. Gotta well, na said. nature's blunt. It is. It right? is. If you don't know what how you're doing. The reason I'm here, Robert Buchanan, or Guns of Arizona, mm -hmm. he brought me down to keynote because a lot of these guys are great shooters, but guess what they're doing with their air guns? They're going out in backcountry. Yeah. They're going outdoors. So we have hypothermia, hypothermia, dehydration. You're from the Vegas area, so you know yep. about high desert. Exactly. It's a formidable experience. If you don't know what in the hell you're doing, I don't care how good you are with your air gun, you need to deal with how nature works when you go out and recreate with that too. Heck yeah. And where could people find uh, your stuff at, or if they wanted to come down and take a class, you know what I mean, how, how they get in contact with sure. you? Sure, my name is uh, CodyLundin.com, and our new season is coming up in pretty much this month. I launch courses next year. For 2023, we announce the next, next month, november -ish. Nice. And what's the what's the ticket for doing something like that? How, how much would someone have to come out of pocket? The ticket is for two days at six ninety five, and we go up to seven day courses and nine day courses, for watch, which are obviously more. No, yeah, totally, man. Well, that's actually very that's pretty affordable, especially for what you're getting out of it. You right. know, the knowledge that you're walking away with, man. I mean, for some people it may not be, but for people like me that are like the outdoors, like going out hiking and stuff like that and just want to be on the tip top of our game as close as you can to it man you know classes like yours man really really come in handy everyone's man. life is worth 695 bucks exactly right right it's, you can't really put our price on life man i mean <laughs> exactly. it's, it's 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 your life i appreciate you so much man thank you for having me on. thank you thank you man and uh guys it's cody man if you don't know about him go look him up guys and check out his classes if you're into that survival stuff if you're into the nature man check him out this is the man He's stay safe and stay dangerous. <laughs> so we got John here, Mr. Bridges. We got his son. Heck yeah. This dude is shooting awesome. And we got Bullfrog Air Guns and this lovely one. What you looking at, John? You gonna win? Like you got a lot of chips there, man. Uh, I just won all these. I'm going home with a rich man. There you go. <laughs> I've got these. Yeah. I'm taking these to the table. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Freaking love it. Hell yeah, man. The player has only one or two chips. What up, Nora? Hi. What's up, man? What's going on, y'all? Him. One of the American air gunners right there. Ooh. 
delicious food. Let's go look at these prizes. <laughs> like the gun, man? Hell yeah. The big one. Type 3, the little one. All the Dun, dun. Hey, what up? How are you? How are y'all doing today? Now that's a watch, dude. Let me see that thing. What is that? Balenciaga. Damn. Uh, uh. Oh, what? That's a Balenciaga oh. watch, yeah. Oh, so how y'all doing today? Right angle, it You're looks like a game well. from Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Mickey ears and everything. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, good, good drinks, guys, so far? Good salad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I know, I just came over here to embarrass you guys and catch you guys off guard. You <laughs> get <laughs> <laughs> Look at the wild hair today, huh? Yeah. Wing got the best of you. <laughs> Team Benjamin. What's going on, brother? How y'all doing today? Good stuff, good stuff. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f Hours it takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just f***ing downers 